Hey guys, it's coming at you for an update. Um, sorry I haven't been on for so long, I'm just kind of dealing with something, which I'll get into in a minute. I just wanted to come on and kind of give you guys the numbers and talk about what's been going on. So if you're just here for numbers, numbers will be at the beginning of the video, um, and the other stuff will be at the end, or after the numbers. <laughs> so getting to numbers, I started uh, my weight loss journey at 320 pounds back in December of 2012. 2012. Yeah, 2012. Sorry, brain fart. I haven't had my coffee. Please don't judge me. Um, and then today I'm sitting around 150, 151 for a loss of 170 pounds. Um, I've been stuck in the 150s. Um, it's beginning of February, so I don't know. I don't know if it's because I've been eating differently, like I shouldn't have all the time. Well, not all the time, just sometimes. You know, not sticking to that protein only diet. Um, been guilty of having a treat here and there, maybe too many times, so I don't know if it's from that and then my lack of exercise. Mm -hmm. um, but trying to get back on track. Um, just started the turbo fire as you can tell from the last video or if you follow me on my uh, Facebook one of my Facebook pages I have two actually one's just like the personal one and then the other is mm -hmm. uh, more towards my fitness one and uh, it's just you know it's my goal to run a 5k eventually sorry my phone's blowing up here and uh, my cardio level isn't fit enough, I guess, to run the Couch 5K program because I just pretty much die. Um, made it to week two, but barely shuffling. And then even then, it's like my heart rate monitor is just blowing up at me for getting my heart rate up too fast. So trying to build up to that po point. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get to a cardio level that's where I should be. Um, also trying to build muscle because I, I, I don't know, I just feel kind of flimsy, <laughs> I guess. Um, and as you can tell, it's new hair. They kind of messed up the bangs. They're supposed to be side bangs, but they got cut too short and kind of funky. So I guess it'll grow back, right? <laughs> and then... I don't know what's going on with the blonde. I think I might just do the whole thing blonde and get rid of the red underneath, but I don't know. And then now on to the drama of my life. Um, well, actually, there's one good thing that happened. I don't know if I made a video on this, but I'm 30 now, and that's the birthday that the doctors thought I'd never make it to. And so that's kind of an SV there, I guess. Um, you know, got my health back and everything like that. But onto the drama, the video before, not the fitness one, but like the last one where I was talking about relationships and mentioned I was going to counseling. Um, the counseling was helping, but then there's just kind of an elephant in the room and that all of a sudden he doesn't want kids ever. And for me, that's like a huge thing. And so it's like now I feel like, you know, I'm back and committed myself into the relationship. And then this whole, you know, elephant in the room, it's like hard for me to make a decision, you know, on one hand, you know, I love him and, you know, love my life kind of thing. And on the other hand, it's like, you know, I... I don't know if I should stay or go and then at the same time it's I don't make enough money to support myself right now and you know trying to find a job and put myself through school and everything it's finances are tough and then um also like the whole the kid thing I don't know if I'd ever be able to have a kid on my own like what I mean by that is just the different health issues I have not just surgery related, but I have a bad back, you know. And so it's like hard for me to make a decision and like the doctors are like, well, you have to make a decision because after 35, you know, it's 
But in order to have a kid then, you're going to have to go on your own fertility and there's going to be a high chance of miscarriage and uh, other things and I don't know. I just... And you always hear these horror stories about people with the DS having kids, but I guess, I don't know. Never had kids, so it's just all scary to me, I guess. Um, but I'm open to adoption and I guess he's not. Um, so that's just kind of making me sad right now and depressed because it's like trying to decide which route I'd be happier, you know? Um, like, I don't know, if I just have a bunch of birds, I don't know if that would be filling enough for me because I always thought, you know, I'd have like four or five kids and for me, my life was always like working to that point and before my surgery, I thought, you know, I'd never have kids because I'd be dead by 30, you know. And now it's like everything, you know, you're getting a second chance on life and I don't know, I might want to experience that, but I wanted to experience it with him, you know, not really anybody else. So I'm just kind of torn at the moment and trying to decide what to do, you know. Because it would be really hard to, you know, leave somebody that you love so much. And then I feel kind of like a douche just leaving because he doesn't want kids. I don't know. I don't know, so that's just where I'm at right now. Um, yeah, I finished my first quarter in school and I got straight A's. Yay! I've never gotten straight A's in my life before, let alone the anatomy class, you know what I mean? Um, but that was pretty stressful, like the finals and everything. And, uh, I'll come back and do a body shot, I just don't really have any good pictures right now and this isn't the best angle for a body shot. And I'm not really in the best clothes for a body shot, uh, but as you can tell there's loose skin on my arms. Um, as soon as I get health insurance, I plan to go see my primary care to get rolling on that. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, feel free to send them my way. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!